Okay, welcome to Lego Mastery. Sorry for a little bit of uh, pretty bad quality on this video. Um, I will say, I haven't watched all the Mandalorian yet, so yeah, Paz Vizsla apparently turns out to be a pretty big character, but I still think that he's way overvalued, and maybe that's just me. Um, I'll see how the price is doing now. Uh, but I still stand by my original claim that it's just artificial inflation. Um, anyway, so I was just browsing through YouTube, and I saw this video, um, and so I turned the volume down. But so he's going over um, some good investments. Uh, and so the first one that he's going to talk about is a phantom. Um, and yeah, this price makes um, some sense. I mean, it's a pretty rare set. Uh, then we got the ghost coming up next. One of my friends actually has this. It's quite a cool set. And I'm going to um, assume that he's talking about sealed prices uh, based on the way that he is pricing things. Because the ghost, you normally get it for around 500 um, but a sealed copy is probably going to be, yeah, like, closer to $800. Um, and a Phantom is definitely not worth uh, $250 used. Uh, probably closer to $200. Um, so what I'm going to say is that he's these are uh, sealed prices. And if you're investing in it, you're going to keep it sealed. But yeah, this is a good one. Uh, $120 is a bit steep on this one. Let me check BrickLink. Maybe I'm wrong here. I could just be stupid. Um, I'm just going to search for an airborne trooper because it's faster. Um, it's crazy how expensive that new one is in the General Gravis Starfighter. Let me go to Price Guide and Sealed. Okay, um, so it sells for around 90 bucks. Uh, so... Here, let's filter it to just sealed ones. Um, uh, yeah, you can get one for 80 bucks. So that's a little steep, but it's fine. I'll let that one slide. This is the one where I just was like, I kind of did a double take because these are the old planet sets. And I think Series 4 was actually only released in Europe. I'm probably very incorrect on that. But I know that one of these was, had a smaller release. Um, but any uh, one of these, I think. Anyway, so this set, um, he's going to go on and say that it's worth... Um, came out for 10 bucks. sounds about right. Uh, he says it costs over $100. Um, and that just kind of maybe take a real double take. And so I decided to actually look on Berklink and you can get a used copy of this set for about 20 bucks. Um, and then the cheapest sealed copy is like 38 bucks. Um, and the average used prices on or average sealed prices under 60 bucks won't even sold for about under 40. So I'm going to go ahead and say like, this is just, it's not misinformation, but it's kind of frustrating to me how like people will just make these videos where they, absurdly overvalued figures like no the way you find the price of a figure is you go on bricklink or you go on ebay and you look at the price guide history <clears throat> so just because of one of these might have sold for a hundred dollars in one instance ever does not mean this set is instantly worth a hundred dollars across the board and that is something that people wildly don't understand like um there's one channel who made a video uh, I'll probably make a later video on this, but he said a $3 figure was worth $25. Like, that is... How can you do that? Like, this... I know this is such a silly thing, and it is. But, bottom line is, no, this set is worth $40 sealed. This is set is not worth $100. So, please, just be correct, because all you're doing is making people think that they have a rare set, and then you're going to perpetuate that this set is rare, but it's not. So, yeah. Uh, uh, this got kind of ranty, but it just frustrates me when prices are wrong like this, just blatantly wrong. So yeah, um, have a good video. And no, like, disrespect to this guy. He looks like he has a pretty good channel. And all these other investments are good ideas. But this one just seems so out of left field. So yeah, uh, bye.